Phil Pravda, welcome back to the channel, Sue Cafe, SueCafe.com. Thank you for watching today and hopefully you're enjoying all of the expanded videos here on the channel. The uh, last video, the 2022 Porsche McCann base, it just had rolled right off the truck, right off the boat from Germany and we were able to get the review of that over at Porsche Southampton. So if you didn't see that one, please go back and take a look because that was a really nice review. But today it is back to clothing. That's right, back to clothing. I've had a lot of requests uh, while we were doing some other things besides clothing to go back to clothes and do some other uh, reviews, especially uh, folding videos of how to fold things for your luggage. So right now we're going to uh, embark on how to fold trousers for your luggage. That's right, pants that you would wear to work or pants for a suit how those fold up so you don't get wrinkles in your luggage. And today, for the first time, we're gonna compare that to how you fold a pair of jeans. Because the way you fold jeans and the way you fold pants are two different things. So here we go. Welcome back everyone. And of course, if you're enjoying uh, my videos here at the Suit Cafe channel, please uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when I do post a new video uh, or even a new short, we've got a lot of nice new shorts that are on there that usually do a slight introduction to a new video that might be upcoming, you'll be notified of that right away. So right here in my hand, I have a pair of dress pants. That's right, regular dress pants. These are 100% wool, just to give you an idea. Uh, button closure, zipper in the front like any other dress pant, belt loops around the back. Um, two back pockets with buttons, and of course uh, side pockets here. So just to show you that these are regular, uh, really everyday dress pants. So how do you fold uh, these dress pants so you don't get wrinkles? But of course, how do you fold it so you keep your crease? The worst thing is when the crease in your pants either disappears or if you don't fold it correctly, you get two creases, one next to the other, and sometimes the leg has a tendency to like swerve. It swerves to the left, it swerves to the right, and you look down at your shoe and you're like, oh no, my pant is off to the side or it's off to the left, and then you're pulling it and you're playing with it, and it's, the whole thing gets very annoying. You just wanna throw those pants in the garbage, but you don't wanna really do that because if you fold it correctly, you won't be throwing your pants in the garbage. So let me show you how to fold your pants, and I did a video on folding pants before, but some people said, please do it again a little more slowly so I could really follow along, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So the best way to fold pants for your luggage is, you fold the front part where the zipper is inside on itself. So you see it almost naturally goes like that. If you're holding it like this and you just flip it a little bit, the tab here with the buttons, or you might have a metal clip here, and this part, which might have the little metal catch, or this one has buttonholes, just sort of automatically fall to the inside. But the rule here is if you line up the first two belt loops just like that, so line up the first two belt loops, then you can hold with your right hand, or if you're lefty with your left hand, those, that, that piece, sort of these two flaps on the inside of the trouser, just like that, with the two belt loops touching each other. So if I do that, and I lift up the back of the pant where the seat is, you know, right at the middle, you could see right away that the pants have already fallen into place. They've fallen along the seams on the front and the seams on the back. And that's exactly what you want. You want them to fall along the seams. So just by doing that and having them fall along the seams, I could just flip these over sort of right in the middle of the trouser, see, sort of halfway, and you can put it in the luggage just like this if your luggage is long enough. Just lay it flat, that's what I do. I lay it flat just like that, usually on the bottom, and I put the jacket on the top. Or if you don't have enough space, you could fold it another time and fold it just like this. So you have it just like that. What you really don't wanna do is you don't wanna sort of you know, fold the pocket in half if you don't have to. If you had to fold it one more time, which you know, probably when it's this small, you could probably fit it into most, even a duffel bag you could fit it into this way. But you could fold it like that as not to fold the pocket in half. So the important part is not to you know, fold that pocket like this. You don't wanna do that, that's really crushing it. So, and then when you wanna unfold it, it's just very simple because it's really just folded over on itself. You just open it up like that, you put it on your hanger, of course with the creases lined up on the hanger, that's what's very important, so the creases stay. And you're just gonna hang it like that in the closet. And uh, if you have a, you shouldn't have any creases at all uh, in the pants after, uh, after a trip like that. So that's how you fold a pair of trousers. I'm gonna show it to you again one more time. I'm gonna go a little more slowly now so everybody can really watch. And uh, so I'll mention again, the zipper must be open. Make sure the zipper is open. I didn't say that the first time. So make sure the zipper is open. 
the front of the pants, you want to line up the two belt loops like that. So you're creating this front part of the zipper where the closure is on the inside of the waistband. That's the inside of the waistband, just like that. And then you lift up the back of the pants right by the seat where the seam is, right there. And already you can see that you have the seam sort of falling in place and lined up. Very, very nice and easy. And all you have to do is let it fold over on itself, just like this, just in half, and you can lay it in the luggage just like that. And when you get to your destination, you just take them right out and they're not going to be wrinkled. Now, if you have to fold them a little smaller, you can fold it in half again. Make sure the creases stay lined up just like that. And now you have it even a little smaller, sort of 25% uh, right here, just like this. And if you have to fold it again, which I don't recommend, but you, if you have to, you have to, fold the back part underneath so you're not folding this pocket in half. The back pockets also you're not folding in half. You have one back pocket here, the other one is on the inside, so you're not folding that in half either. So now I'm going to switch over to the jeans, because the jeans is a completely different thing. So let me get the jeans and I'll be right back. Here we have a pair of uh, blue jeans, just dark denim, everyday sort of blue jeans. And you could see it has a zipper, has just one button closure here, and uh, two back pockets. This is what's called a five pocket jean, two back pockets, two front pockets, and then the small pocket right here. That's a five pocket jean, and the jeans also have belt loops. Now, if we were to fold these jeans the way we folded the trousers before, look what's gonna happen. See, we'll do the same thing. Belt loops in the front, we'll let the zipper fold in a little bit on itself, and we'll put the belt loops together, and we'll do the same thing. But look what happens. I don't know if you could see it on the camera. But right away, the jeans really don't fall into place. They don't drape very nicely. I'm going to have to really play with this to get it to sit. I can see I have sort of a crease on the side. That's not going to fold nicely on itself. The, the back pockets don't look so good that way. Looks like if I fold it like this, there's going to be a lot of wrinkles. And there would be a lot of wrinkles. So the reason jeans are different is because the denim is really sort of, well, it's not really pressed, but it's really folded on the seams which are on the sides of the legs. Because usually you don't have creases down the front. You have seams on the sides of the legs and that's really where you fold your jeans, on the outer seam and on the inseam, which has, uh, the inseam is the part that always has this double thicker lap seam right here and trousers don't have that. Of course, trousers have seam on the outside and they have an inseam too, but they don't have this double lap seam and that's what causes some problems in uh, jeans when you're folding is this double lap seam which is on the inseam of the jeans. So the best way to fold jeans is just how they do it in stores, right? So you basically open them up just like this with the zipper open, the zipper has to stay open, and you fold the jeans back pocket to back pocket. So you go just like that. The back pockets are touching each other. And look what happens. As soon as I do that with the back pockets, the sides of the jeans fall right into place, just like the seams on the trousers. And now you're having the side seams on the jeans fall into place, just like that. So you have your pockets on this side, your pockets on that side, those are the front pockets, and your back pockets are face to face, just like this. And now, that you have your seams lined up on either side, all you have to do is the same thing as we did with the trousers, is let it fall over, and now you can pack it in your luggage nice and flat. Of course, the goal is always to get things flat and do it in a way where they're not gonna wrinkle. If you watch my video on how to fold the suit jacket for your luggage, of which I made a few, but the last one I did in 2021 is the most updated one, you'll see how to fold the whole suit jacket so it's completely flat, including with the shoulders, so you don't have any wrinkles uh, for your luggage. And that's my most popular video, by the way, the one on how to fold your suit jacket for your luggage or for travel. So again, how to fold your jeans? Again, zipper open, and we're not folding it like we fold trousers. We're not using the two belt loops in the front to put them together. We're putting the back pockets face to face together. We go just like that. So we're sort of folding on this center seat seam in the jeans right there. You fold back pockets, face to face, and the side seams automatically, the outer seam and the inseam are lining up right away. So as soon as you do that, you just fold them over and the jeans you could fold over again if you wanted to. And with denim, it really doesn't wrinkle. You can fold this again. You can't fold it over without folding 
the pockets on the trouser because the denim is too thick. But if you really wanted to fold this tight, you could fold it again because denim doesn't wrinkle at all. So it's just very easy to, uh, you know, to work with denim. Most importantly when doing both of these folds is to leave the zipper open. If you leave the zipper open, both fabrics have more play. They have more leeway to move around a little bit and that's what you want. Even in the luggage, things get jostled around. You don't want things tight and like bolted down because that's what causes wrinkles. You want it to be able to move just like that. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching how to fold the jeans and watching how to fold uh, the trousers right here. Hopefully it was helpful and sure I will take requests if you want to leave some comments for me if you have anything else you'd like to see how things fold or how to wear something for your uh, wardrobe. I'm open to making videos on that for uh, all of you and uh, stay tuned for more videos on cars, on watches and on clothes and I'll see you all when I'm back at it. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. And now for the shameless plug, uh, suitcafe.com. That's right, my company. Just want to show you the suit I'm wearing in this video. This is the lapis blue in the Cajlana fabric. Beautiful, soft wool and microfiber. You can wear it any season, pack it in any luggage, wear it all day. It really doesn't wrinkle much at all, uh, if at all. And it's super, super great for traveling. So don't worry about rolling it up, folding it, of course, the way I showed you, pants and jacket in my videos, of course and uh, really, really a good workhorse of a suit. Not only does it come in the lapis blue, it comes in anthracite gray and in jet black and also in a beautiful tuxedo, which in Europe is called smoking. So check it out on the website, suitcafe.com and see you all in the next video.